Hi everybody, this is Jane here from Crystal Sparkles Readings. I'm just here to pop down a card for us for the day. I'm going to be using the Faulkner Tarot deck, black and white version, as normal. Okay, so just going to have a little shuffle of this, of this deck. And let me just have a little look and see what the cards say today okay the card today is the full card now the full card is um first card in the tarot deck so it's the first one of the major arcana and the tarot kind of tells the story of the fool really going through different stages and and different lessons and and kind of it's all about pro his progress or her progress um in the black and white Faulkner deck, as you can see, it is um, it's um, kind of a scene that has a little bit of everything going on. Um, it's very peaceful, um, but it has lots of options. So, you know, you've got the kind of the water and the land and the trees and the earth and the sky and the rainbows. So it's showing opportunity. Um, that's how this card is interpreted in the black and white it's about um new adventures and new beginnings and all of those wonderful wonderful things um the fool is kind of adventurous okay when it when we're talking about new beginnings and new starts this one really is a complete new start it's a massive great big new adventure where you might feel a little bit vulnerable you might feel like you're right out of your comfort zone um but that's all okay you know it's what this card is saying is it's it's all okay um we all have to start somewhere we start with knowing nothing about something and off we go and we learn a load of stuff okay so today um is a day of learning it's a day of um adventure it can be it can feel a little bit risky sometimes you know when we're out of our comfort zone it can feel a little bit hairy out of there sometimes um but the full card is saying you know if you don't ever take a risk and you don't ever go for it then you never really move forward you never learn anything new so that's what the full card talks about so in terms of a card for the day it's very much about new adventure go try something different um if you have an opportunity to go and do something a little bit a um, little bit scary, you know, something that kind of really puts you out of your comfort zone, go for it. Today's a great day to do that. Um, so it is all about just pushing your boundaries a little bit and getting right out into something brand new. It's exciting. Um, it's a really lovely card. And I, it's one of my favourites, actually, the fall, just because it, it's all about doing something a little bit exciting. And I'm I'm an Aries, so I like that energy. Now I understand not everybody does. Some people find that really scary. Um, but all I would say to you is to just go in baby steps. You know, you don't have to jump right straight into something and go whole hog. You can, you know, put your toe in the water a little bit. You can still embark on a new adventure gently and slowly. Um, it doesn't have to be like an Aries would do, go mad and, you know, jump right off the edge of that cliff pretty damn quickly. Um, you can do it at your own pace. It doesn't have to be quite as scary as it could be. OK, I am going to pop down an energy oracle card for the day as well. Just to kind of go with our lovely, exciting, adventurous fall. So this is an interesting card because this is the goddess of the moon. OK, so similar to the moon card and the high priestess, high priestess, yes. Um, that sounds like a really weird word for today. I don't know why. Um, you know, sometimes words just sound strange, even though you know they're right. Um, so, yes, the high priestess sounds weird, feels weird today, but that's it can be like that energy the moon or or the moon card in tarot or the high priestess card in tarot 
Um, but basically, the goddess of the moon talks about moon energy. OK, now we've got a big full moon, I believe, at the end of this week. Um, I have to look up the dates on that. I'm not quite sure what dates they are just at the moment, but it's towards the end of the week, I believe, either Friday or Saturday. Um, so that energy will be around us. Um, the moon energy is a little bit like the full, really, I suppose. You know, it's, it's shown us that not everything is known. Um, not everything is clear. Um, there are things that might be a little bit hidden and a little bit that we might find a little bit scary. Um, but I really like the moon card and a lot of people don't, but I really do because I, I see it as a light in the darkness. Um, the moon is, to me, something that casts light on something. So if you have had things around you that, you know, have been scaring you a little bit, worrying you a little bit, or you're a little bit uncertain of them, um, the moon says that you will have clarity on that. Um, also, when the moon comes up, um, and this goddess of the moon comes up particularly, I always think it's really important to pay attention to your dreams. So if you have um, a dream diary, good opportunity to write down those dreams. The more you write them down, the more you will recall them and the more they'll be able to help you. The dreams are what our subconscious mind uses to try and help us to process things that are happening in our daily life and to um, help us to move ourselves in the right direction. OK, so they're worth paying attention to. Um, I would always say a lot of people freak out about their dreams because they assume that they are predictive. Um, it's quite rare to have predictive dreams. I'm not saying it doesn't happen because it does. Um, but it's it's a rarity. It's not the norm. Um, usually your dreams are symbolic. Um, you know, if you're dreaming about someone in particular, it's not necessarily them that you are needing to pay attention to. Um, our dreams show us things that reflect different parts of our personality. OK, so if you're dreaming about a person have a look at that person's characteristics and see how they relate to yours. Um, is there something in their character that you are not developing in your own or lacking around you, for instance? Um, it's like if, if you dream about children, um, it's, it's very rare that that would be about specific children around you. What that often is talking about is you being able to nurture your inner child and look after your inner child. So um, look at the dream kind of almost from an outside point of view. Um, look for the symbolism in the dream rather than the um, rather than taking it literally. They're very rarely literal. Um, it's usually symbolic. Um, so, yeah, the cards there saying, you know, be ready for your new adventure. Uh, looks like a day when you can kind of break out of the mould a little bit. Um, but also pay attention to your intuition. Um, this goddess of the moon talks about intuition. And also um, pay attention to your dreams. Sorry about the light in there in this today. I've just got the... It's coming through the window a little bit and I can't really see very well. So I will finish off the video there. And wish you all a lovely day. And I will be back again tomorrow to do another card for the day. And um, yeah, so I'm just going to pop these over. That's not very good, is it? I'm going to pop these over this side so that you can actually see them. At the end of the video. Thank you very much for watching. And I'll speak to you again tomorrow. Bye for now.